From seed to three times the harvest, we're growing microgreens pea shoots in the winter using natural sunlight. To start, I'm using a sprouting tray with a dome to keep the moisture in. The medium that I'm using is called a hemp mat. It's a lot less messier than soil medium, but it's just as effective. The step is easy. All I'm doing is soaking the mat with water and spreading the seeds evenly. Seeds contain plenty of nutrients that allow them to sprout. And young tender shoots are delicious, sweet, and packed with nutrients. They're also a good source of dietary fiber, vitamin C, and A. It doesn't even take long to grow microgreens. You can have a harvest within 5-7 to seven days. Initially, I covered the seeds and used weight on top. This forces the roots to go deep into the mat. I'm using natural sunlight to grow pea shoots during winter. This can be done if you have access to a bright window that receives at least 6-8 to eight hours of sunlight. And if you don't get much sunlight where you are, you can also use a grow light as an alternative. I found that the combination of mat with the humidity dome actually helps during the first few days. It keeps the moisture in, preventing dryness. And because the mat can retain so much water, I only do it once a day. And I usually keep the dome on until day 3. Pea shoots can grow really fast and they'll start reaching out for the sunlight. And to make sure all sides are getting even exposure from the sun, I rotate the tray once a day. Gently brushing the top will strengthen the stem, allowing the shoots to continue to grow up instead of falling down. When they start to grow about 3 to 4 inches tall, they can be harvested. But I normally wait for it to grow taller than that so I can cut it high enough for a second harvest. Pea shoots can be eaten fresh or lightly cooked. I'm preparing a quick meal and saute it with garlic. It's a great combination and tastes absolutely delicious. I'm also going to trim the rest of the sprout so I can encourage a second growth. If stored in a tight container, they can last fresh in the fridge up to 2 weeks. I made sure to trim about 2 to 3 inch above the base. I'll continue to add just water because there's still enough nutrients in the seed for it to sprout. Pea shoots are naturally sweet tasting and they make a great smoothie. Combine it with banana, apple, and your choice of milk and they taste really good. One way you can tell if the plant lacks nutrients 
is when the leaves start to turn yellow. And for the second growth, these plants are still looking great so I continue to add water. But be sure to check for mold and if they do start to form, mix a small amount of vinegar with water. Every three to four days, I drain the excess water from the tray and use it to water my house plants. Microgreens are very low maintenance. You can even harvest a little bit at a time or wait to harvest when everything is grown which only takes a couple of days. The only maintenance needed is watering and rotating a tray once a day. And peas are one of my favorite ones to grow because you can harvest more than once. And now that we're ready for a second harvest, again, we're going to store this in the fridge, trim two to three inches above the base, and prepare it for a third harvest. By this time, the nutrients in the seed themselves are probably depleted, so we need to add our own nutrient mix. I'm going to mix my own nutrients naturally and I won't be needing that much. The mix includes nettle leaves, comfrey, and dandelion roots. I place them in a jar and soak them for a few days ahead of time. This is more than enough to give the sprouts a nutrient boost. I'll use this mix every other day and in between just regular water. I was able to get it to a third harvest you can tell by the cut stem. There's a good possibility that this can keep growing to another harvest but there's also a higher chance that it can start forming mold. And nothing is wasted here. We use the base and compost it in our vermicompost bin. Thanks for watching. Follow along to learn more.